Hey guys, how y'all doing? My name is Jack and welcome to a game that I've been waiting for for 10 long years. This is Bannerlord, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And I must say I'm so excited to uh, get into a series uh, playing this game, maybe even get into multiple series playing this game. Um, I will say now, I've played the game very little, i played the game for a grand total of uh, 3 hours. Essentially uh, doing the tutorial and making sure that I... Uh, knew the map a tiny bit and uh, making sure that I could brush up on my um, fighting skills, albeit they're not that good now, but hopefully they'll be good later. But yes, this will be an Empire campaign. My character will be aligned to the Empire, be it the, um, the West, the South, or the North, I believe it is. Still not too familiar with the overall uh, clans as of yet. But really, the whole goal for this uh, series will be to learn the game as we go and uh, just try and get to a point where we're happy to kind of leave it off. Ideally, maybe operating a couple of castles and uh, fiefs of our own, and maybe even having uh, our own empire of our own later on. Maybe we'll see. Might leave that for a later uh, ser a series, but for now, for now, we're going to dive in and have a hell of a good time. And I don't think I'll need to be able to do the tutorial again. I did that before just to kind of get out of the way. So here we are, character culture. Now we will be of the Empire, as I said before. Now that only really indicates our culture. It doesn't necessarily mean that we have to stick with the Empire. We could go to the Vlandians, the Sturgians, the Assyri, the Kuzates, or the Batanians. We could go to whoever we want. That's the beauty of a game like that. It's completely open world, completely sandbox. But what I have noticed uh, with this game is... There seems to be a bit more of an emphasis on storytelling, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. So it will hold your hand for a little bit. But the great thing is, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to follow the uh, the storyline. You can go off, do whatever you want, and play it like you would in a you know game of uh, of uh, Warband. Anyway, the Empire, Calradian Empire is in decline even before the murder of the Emperor Arin. Arin. Arin Icos? I think I got that right. The uh, once united realm was uh, torn by political rivalries. Today those factions are in open war, yet Calradians endure. They are technologically more advanced than their neighbours, and their mastery of engineering is not just evident in their aqueducts, beautiful architecture and massive city walls, it also makes them experts in siege warfare. And that's kind of why I was drawn to the Empire. It's really that bonus to town projects, wall repairs, and siege engines. Because I read that the Empire was in a severe decline, and I really want to do all I can to bring that Empire back together and back to the height uh, that it once, you know, enjoyed. And the fact that I can, you know, uh, rebuild towns and walls and whatnot, it, it, it's really, really cool. So this is going to be our guy. Well, not uh, this guy particularly. Uh, voice can be... Yeah, I think we'll leave that as his voice for now. I'll turn the game up slightly. Fire and world! Much, much better. Uh, we'll stick with that. We'll leave him be a white man because I am a white man. Not that pale. Well, actually, no, I kind of am that pale, aren't I? We'll kind of, we'll kind of go with that. It's ever slightly more kind of peach and tan. Oh, we, I, we can even do the pitch. I didn't even realize... Oh, what would that even sound like? Make a circle! That, that's even better. What about all the way down? Onward! Okay, that sounds pretty cool. We'll kind of leave it, like, there. Soldiers! Yeah, that, that kind of sounds a bit more menacing. The one the one that's too high is not intimidating whatsoever. And height. Oh my god, that's like a seven and a half foot tall man. He could be a giant. We'll kind of have him, like, at around six foot for now, I think. Uh, now... Really, the only thing I'm going to kind of mess about with is uh, the hair, I think. Uh, let's see. Going to run with that. Or this. It's kind of a bit more messy. There is a beard that I really like, and it's uh, that beard, so we will run with this for now. Um, do I want that one or that one or that one? Do we want the bowl cut? We do not want the bowl cut whatsoever. No, thank you. No, no, I think for now we're going to go with... What are you? Ooh, uh, no, ponytail, oh, not for me. Definitely not for me. It's a bit too Aragorn for my uh, liking. And if this empire is kind of more based on the Roman Empire, we're going to want uh, hair kind of like this. So we'll go with that, keep it fairly boring. And the only thing I'm really going to mess with as well is uh, the eye color. The only other thing that is... We're going to try and get it to my eye color because, you know, roleplay. And my eye color is kind of like a murky, bluey green. So kind of, kind of like that. So we'll go with that. 
okay, everything should be uh, the way I want it. He's going to look like that in his clothing, really, uh, you know, well protected, hopefully. And overall, that should be that. Right, we'll go into next and we'll get his backstory sorted out. So our family were... Who were our family? Now, I've gotten through these before in my own time. And for my kind of test playthrough, I did the Landlord uh, Retainers for that um, focus point riding Bolarm attribute and... Uh, or, yeah, and Bolarm and the one attribute point figure that you already get, which I do like. But I kind of want my guy to be kind of boring. You know, we're going to have him wield a sword and shield until I get a hell of a lot more comfortable with um, wielding a sword without a shield and, you know, blocking effectively. It's one thing I really had trouble with was blocking without a shield. I kept getting hit. A 10 skill level and 1 focus point to athletics and polearm, 1 attribute point to endurance. Small farmers with just enough land to feed themselves and make a small profit. People like them were the pillars of the imperial rural economy, as well as the backbone of the levy. So it can kind of like go a little bit lower down the uh, social echelon here. And just kind of be peasants maybe. We also have artisans, which would be craftsmen. If we ever want to go down the smithing route, which I think we're going to end up doing anyway, irregardless of whether or not we pick urban artisans. Uh, foresters will be that uh, scouting and bow. I don't see my guy using a bow and arrow all that much because I cannot aim whatsoever. Urban vagabonds, uh, thieves, I believe, so we can do roguery and throwing and we get a bit of cunning. Don't really see myself using... Uh, javelins all that much so for now it's really kind of in between uh the retainer of a landlord and um freeholders and if you can hear dogs in the background i do apologize they will bark every now and then or we could do the merchants in fact we do get that trade and charm and really trading will be the main way that we probably end up making money we can probably actually i uh, level that up you know on our own so we don't need to worry about the uh backstory for that so i think for now we might do freeholders why not so as a child, you were noted for probably your brawn, just to kind of get that two-handed uh, point, just in case we get a backup weapon that will be two-handed, so it will be good to have that. Not to mention we end up getting a point in throwing and a bit more vigor, and you can kind of tell where I'm going with this. I'm going to want more health, uh, as much health as I can uh, really, you know, hope to get. Okay, like all village children, you helped out in the fields, you are, you also, what did I also do? I think I repaired projects, didn't I, to get that bit of engineering, but we could also do blacksmith and kind of make our own gear and kind of get the, uh, kind of get our own engineer, maybe. So with this, we get more vigor, we get another uh, point into two-handed, we get something in smithing, whereas we still get the point in smithing if we do repaired projects. Uh, you know what, I still think I'm going to want... We can get engineering at a later date. I think for now we do want that vigor point. So we'll go with uh, worked in the village smithy. And our youth. War is never too far away. What did we do? Trained with the infantry. I think we should definitely go with that. Now that gives me a spear on my back and a sword, but I don't know if we have a shield with that. I think if we stood guard with garrisons, we do get a shield, which I kind of want. So I might do that. We also get that engineering uh, skill point, which we kind of wanted anyway. And uh, we end up getting uh, an attribute point into intel because of that. But we also get the crossbow uh, point as well. So we'll, you know, we'll run with that. Okay, before you set out for a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was, I think, in my... Yeah, I think in my uh, test playthrough I did, you defeated an enemy in uh, single combat. To get, really, to get the renown, but we also gain another uh, vigor point. We get that two and two-handed, which is pretty goddamn good. But again, I'm not very, uh, I'm not very comfortable with uh, two-handed wielding as of yet. I don't think we really can get anything that gives us one-handed right now. Just treated people well to get a bit of renown but really we kind of want to go for the highest renown right away and just kind of be as well known as we can lovely now then like many families in calradia your life was upended by war your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army eventually you sold your property and set off with your father mother and brother and your two younger siblings to a new town you you'd uh, heard was safer you did not make it Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two youngest siblings seized, but you and your brother survived because... Hmm. Probably we subdued them, I think. 
So we get yet another uh, point into vigor, and we actually get plus two into sword and uh, shield are one handed. Yeah, I think I do like that. And also, we get one into athletics as well. Yeah, we'll run with that for sure. Go away. Um, right then, we need to uh, give my guy a name. Let's see, what do we kind of have here in the uh, randomizer? We have a lot of kind of Greek names, I think. I think that's kind of like what the Empire is based off of. It's kind of very Byzantine, I believe. Um, could just go with our own name. We'll go with, uh, let's see, I might name him after one of my MMO characters I had a while back. There we go. Pario. I like it. Okay, we're, for now, we're going to play on, um, probably just easy for now until I get the, uh, proper hang of the game where I feel comfortable enough to play on, you know, realistic. Yeah, so for now we'll go down to reduce to two-thirds and kind of enjoy ourselves. But what we will do, though, is enable death for, uh, you know, heroes. It, it will give each battle a sense of, you know, stake. And tension, for that matter. That really should be that. Also, I have, uh, I should warn you now, uh, the game has been known to crash on uh, day one. The game only came out today, so it has been known to crash. So if we do uh, experience any crashes, I will do what I can to edit them out and make the, uh, you know, reboot up times uh, seamless. Anywho, let's dive in. Now we shouldn't have to go through the tutorial again. It took me a while, quite frankly, on one aspect. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Brother, it's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. Are we going to rescue uh, Faisos and Aaliyah? Are we up for the fight? I think we're up for the fight. Absolutely. So we've no time to lose. We can uh, do more if we split up. Um, so yeah, I think the entire tutorial is how to... Uh, yeah, it's basically how to recruit. But we're actually... Um, Gonna talk about, you know, you think we'll catch up with the raiders soon? Those tracks look fresh. I've seen some smoke on the horizon. They can't move too quickly if they're still looting and raiding. No, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to rescue the little ones, or, you know, we'll die trying. How should we prepare? Well, if they uh, start pillaging, they may have to split up into uh, smaller groups. Hopefully we won't need to take them all on at once, but it would help if we could hire or persuade some people to join us. I agree. Um, so basically, the uh, tutorial is I did it in my own time. Uh, it teaches you how to um, accept quests, how to recruit people, how to buy food, and essentially it sends you off to kill a bandit leader, and I did all that already, so I think for now we'll dive right in. We will uh, do more if we can split up. Are you sure about that? Yes. It's recommended that you pick yeah, if you already played the tutorial once. Yeah, I already have once. Not a problem. One other thing, brother, uh, we want people to take us seriously. That's true, we'll need to give a name and a banner. Right then, let's dive into the name and the banner, shall we? If we can. Lovely. Remember, the game is in early access as of this moment, and it is day one, so there will be probably some growing pains that we do need to go into, uh, you know. So we will leave. And a few hours after you leave the training ground, you come across some wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best as you can. Ah, he's a traveling doctor. To thank you for your help, he hands you a small bronze artifact, uh, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior, who said that was uh, related to Ner Neritzi's folly. He suspects uh, it might be of great value. Ah. Anyway, family name. So my guy's name is Perio, of House... Uh, Hmm, guess what? I'm never great with names. Hmm, it needs to be somewhat Roman, I think. Or Byzantine, maybe. Uh, could be, like, really boring with it, or not. I, I don't know. I'm kind of on the spot here. There we go. Baranicus. I like it. Probably did not spell that correctly. Anyway, the banner will be of my uh, channel colors, which is black with a re uh, with a yellow accent. So we just need to kind of sort out what our um, banner symbol will be. The Imperial Eagle. Or one of them, maybe. A lot of Imperial Eagles on here, as you can uh, see. Even that one, wow. Um, let's see, what's kind of empire looking out of all those? 
Is there really anything more Empire looking down the bottom? Like, uh, you know, like a castle um, gate, maybe? Like a portcullis? Or a tent entrance, by the look of it, or even walls. I kind of like the uh, portcullis, to be honest. I feel like it would just be kind of, uh, you know, obvious to go from one of the Imperial Eagles, as it does look like, you know, an Imperial standard. Really, our family isn't really going to be of Imperial royalty, so we shouldn't really go with any type of Imperial standard. So for now, we'll simply go with uh, Porcullus to kind of indicate that we have a bit of engineering skill to us. I like that. Oh, I like how we can make the uh, Porcullus massive. I think we should definitely do that. So yeah, we'll kind of make it a little bit more. Actually, hang on. Nah, it's kind of a bit better. So I'll run with that. Cool. And here we are. We're in the game. <laughs> this is literally the game. So we're going to be uh, doing pretty much all we can in order to uh, make a bit of money and um, get a proper warband together and do what we can. So we already have a quest line. We have investigate Neriz Neritzi's folly. Okay, so we need to talk to ten nobles and rebuild our clan. So we need to get a thousand denarius of which we have one thousand already. So we need to get two thousand, get twenty men. Reach clan tier one and hire a companion. Now, we're not going to have our brother, but I wonder if we'll get our brother back kind of like later on. So for now, we'll go to Tavia. Um, talk to the uh, town elder, I think. Uh, I think they're called headsmen in this, so we'll go talk to him. We'll make our way across. Okay, so we have a neutral uh, Zenon, Destor, and Renatos of uh, Tavia. Okay, you're the headsman. You're a landowner, you're a landowner. Okay, so we'll take a walk through the uh, village, see can we, you know, get some type of uh, quest. Take a hostile action? I think not. On our own? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Also, what we're going to want to do as well is get some sort of uh, regular weekly income as quickly as we can. Otherwise, we won't be in a good spot now, will we? Okay, we do still have this tutorial, so backwards with S. That should make that go away. Here we go. Let's go try and find him. Mr. Man, where could you be? I think, yeah, that's him up there by the house. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look, see. Hello, Mr. Man. Hello, my good man. Are you the man I seek? I, I don't know if you're the man I seek. I don't believe you're the headman. Are you the headman? I'm Prio. Who are you? I'm Frenitas. And I've lived here all my life working the land. Horse, you were in my way. And, uh... Working the land as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Tavea, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they uh, like me to speak for them. Ah, okay. I'll mark your name. Thank you. I have a quick question. Never mind. I'm a sleeve. I'll be gone forever. I'll never talk to you again. You and me, we're done. We're so done. Are you my headsman? Let's talk to you for a quest, if you have any to give. You're a peasant? Ah, uh, Zenon. Who are you? I'm Zenon. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in my village. I mark your name. I have a quick question. Never mind. Okay, now we know them. But where is the main man? That kind of looks like a townhouse. Something that the village elder might live in. You're a peasant. Filthy peasant. I'm not sure where you are right now. It's a bit of an odd one. Where or oh, where could you be? Can we, can we go in? Oh, we can't go in. That's fine. Uh, where the hell is this guy? Hello, peasant. Do you know where your elder is at all? Evan, watch over us. I agree. I'm looking for someone. Damn. <laughs> we haven't met him yet, so we can't uh, find him because I think we don't know his name. We could go by title, though. That, that would also help. Uh, you know what? There's probably an easier way to do this. Literally, go back to the main menu, or the overworld thing, and, uh... Oh, he was the headsman. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was Destor. Ah, oh, my bad. Yeah, no, we're going to talk to him. See if he has, like, a quest to give us. If any. Probably not. Brio, do you have anything to give me? No, you do not. Well, nothing really much for it than to uh, recruit some men and uh, see what kind of wage we'll be paying. Recruit troops. I'm trying to get, you know, killed. 
Okay, Imperial Recruits, Recruits, Recruit, Recruit, Recruits. They are... Hmm. Well, they're not cavalry. It's fairly obvious. Wages, one dinar a week. So that'll be six uh, dinars. Level six, they're all level six. Yep, take them all. We'll make good use of them. I'll cast 120 up front. Gives us seven people in our warband off the bat. And we're also going to need to buy food because I don't believe we have anything. We have a bit of grain. We could always do with more grain and a bit more butter uh, for now. So that's going to be 86. It's kind of all you have, I believe. Um, Right now we have... We don't have a lot. Uh, we do need to get into a battle at some point. We're probably going to go over and... Okay, that's our hearth. Okay, I don't know what that's all about. I think that's of Tevea. Okay. Cool, yeah, that really should be it. Uh, for this time. Now, I do want to go over to uh, Sestia and see if we can recruit just a bit more people. Do it now. Hello. Okay, we have Jacorius, who is... he has an issue for me. Okay, we'll go talk to him. Now we will recruit more, so we can't... Uh, you don't have a high enough relation to acquire this troop. You have one, you will need five. Ah. So you need to be, you know, good to the people of this town. We'll take more recruits uh, for now. Have a very kind of uniform uh, parity. So let's take a look at the warband real quick. So our character is going to be C. I'm going to need to learn all the uh, hockeys. Oh, hello. I've never been on this screen before. Wait, do I have... Uh, I have no attribute points, do I? No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, I did. Well, we do want one-handed, so that's absolutely fine. But really, could we go into something else like engineering? I don't really think so. But now we kind of want to get... Shield Bash, Long Strides. Yeah, we definitely want to go through that um, one-handed tree. So we'll go with that. Don't think, is there anything for... Uh, is there any kind of tree dedicated to shields, maybe? I think, I think it's really all down here. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll finish that up. Okay, cool. So now we're kind of looking at a warband of many people. That's my inventory. Battle outfit. Oh cool, we can even have a civilian outfit. I like that. I like that a lot. A party, that would be P. So we have 10 people, currently 9 Imperial recruits, and myself. Oh, okay, so we can get up to Imperial archer or infantrymen now. I don't know how good archers are, but we may want to abuse them uh, quite a lot. But anyway, let's go talk to Jacorius, shall we?